Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be filming a redesign, which some people call infill as well, but I like to call it redesign because I basically shave off all the previous design back to the clear layer. I infill the clear layer and come in with my design. So what I'm using now is Dusky Pink from Glitter Planet. I have a code with them, which is Lowkey5. I'll leave it on the screen for you guys if you are interested. It's such a beautiful buttery color. It's just really dreamy to work with and it's super, super pretty. So I'm using the Big Boy brush from CJP today and I'm just going to be creating a smile line. So like a V smile line type of look. I've done this on a couple of my videos, so I'll just let you guys watch. Before I let you enjoy, I would like to ask y'all to please not forget to subscribe to my channel and also add me on Instagram as I do post a lot on there when I'm not posting here. So I decided to leave out the ring finger because it's the same process as the index and I didn't want to bore you guys with this so yeah. But anyway for the pinky I am double dipping in extra kiss from Not Polish and dusky pink from Glitter Planet and just creating this pretty marble. I'm trying to work a little bit wet that way the colors can merge together and that way you get that really nice marble effect. And now I'm going to encapsulate the pinky and the thumb using my clear acrylic and I'm just building my apex as well as protecting that marble effect.
so for the middle finger i'm applying a clear layer of um clear acrylic and that way the loose glitter can stick better and then obviously i just dip into my clear and onto this loose glitter which i got from tracy lou and it's called kylie i think or kendall no this one's kylie she has two glitters one kendall one kylie one of them is like a purpley tone and this one is like it's got like a pinky tone to it it's really pretty and easy to work with what i like to do is i just like to tip into my clear acrylic first apply that on the nail and then dip back again onto the clear acrylic pick up the glitter and place it onto the nail and that way the glitter will stick easily once i'm happy with the glitter placement i like to come in with a large bead of clear acrylic and i'm just walking that bead towards the tip making sure I build a good apex as well as encapsulating all that glitter. That way I do not file it off when I come back to file the nails. And then after this, I will go in with my 180 hand file and I'm just going to redefine that V line just to make it look nice and crisp as well as making sure that that point is central. So once I filed that nice and crisp, I remove all the dust and now I'm coming in with Blizzer White from Glitter Planet. As you can see, it's a lot brighter than what I have on my nails. If you guys are interested in what I have on my nails, that's the purple glow from Not Polish. It glows purple in the dark and it's stunning. It's like a milky white, but it glows purple. So yeah, definitely check that color out. I will leave it linked in my description even though I've not used it, but it's a pretty color, so why not? But anyway, I'm going in with um, Blizzard White from Glitter Planet and I'm just going to fill in the gaps of where that V line is. And don't be too scared if you overlap and go over the nude or the pink acrylic, just because if you build a high wall using that um, pink color, it's fine if you go over it because you can always come back in with your e-file or even your hand file and just you know reveal that smile line. So now I'm coming in with my 180 hand file and I'm using the tornado hand file from CJP. I just like to use different ones, whatever, you know, it doesn't really matter. I like the Tracy Lou ones, which is the 180. I like the tornado one from CJP and the 100 100 from TMBL. So, oh, and also the Dear Lux one. Um, I've used in a couple of videos so I highly recommend that you do get a good file because a lot of times people think oh a file will not really matter but the grip and the grit that the file has it really does make a difference in how sharp your nails can be so definitely have a look into those files or I heard that the Pana one on Amazon is really good as well so if you guys don't know which one to pick go for that one but anyway now i'm coming in for my final filing finish filing and i'm using the fine carbide drill bit i just got this from amazon and i'm just going over all the surfaces of all of the nails and i'm revealing that smile line which is so satisfying please tell me how satisfying this is like you just see everything come to life and yeah i like this as much as i like top coat but anyway, I also go as close to the cuticle as possible. As you see, I'm using my thumb to push back that skin and that way I prevent any accidents. So that's a good tip for you guys if you just pull back the skin using the thumb and it also helps with stabilization as well. So that's a good tip. But anyway, I'm going to finish filing, buff the nails and then come in with top coat.
So this is the exciting bit. I am using the Super Gloss from Glitter Planet. This is one of my favorite top coats and I'm just going to apply a thin layer of that on all of the nails and then cure for 60 seconds. As soon as they come out the light, you want to let them cool down for a little bit before coming in with any cuticle oil um, because I find when the um, the top coat it's still like kind of cooling down and you apply the cuticle oil it kind of dulls the shine so just wait for it for a little bit so this is the final look you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i think they turned out absolutely stunning they're so classy but then bougie at the same time and i love that if you did enjoy my video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, don't forget to add me on Instagram. And I shall see you in my next video.